morning students this is the 60 days action plan of biological science for ssa board examinations now daily i'll upload four to five questions if you go through all the all the questions you get good marks and good score in the examination now let's get started from the day one questions okay students this is 60 days action plan day one here four questions is given to you for the first day the first question is how can you prove that co2 is essential for photosynthesis if you read all the four questions today daily you can get sure surely you can get good marks for writing the answer the five steps subheadings you must follow this the first one is aim second apparatus third procedure fourth one is observation and fifth one is now i am going to read the answer aim to prove that carbon dioxide is essential for photosynthesis by most half leaf experiment apparatus Take a wide mode transparent bottle, KOH solution, potted plant, vertically split cork iodine solution. Procedure. Arrange the apparatus as shown in the figure. Take a healthy potted plant and keep it in the dark for nearly a week for the removal of starch from the leaves. A wide mouth transparent bottle is taken. Put potassium hydroxide pellets or potassium hydroxide solution, KOH, in the bottle. This KOH absorbs CO2 present in the bottle. Insert splitted cork in the mouth of the bottle. Insert one of the leaves of distached plant through a split cork into the transparent bottle. Arrange half of the leaf is inside the bottle and the remaining half outside. Leave the plant in sunlight for 2-3 two, two, hours. After a few hours, test this leaf and other leaf of this plant for starch. Observation. The part of the leaf outside the bottle turns blue black because starch is formed in this part due to the photosynthesis. The part of the leaf inside the bottle does not turn black because the carbon dioxide present in the bottle is absorbed by the potassium hydroxide solution. All the other factors Water, sunlight and chlorophyll are available but not CO2. Hence, starch is not formed in the leaf part which is inside the bottle. Result. This experiment proves that CO2 is necessary for photosynthesis. Precautions. The part of the leaf kept inside the bottle should not touch potassium hydroxide solution. The apparatus should be kept in airtight by applying grease or Vaseline. Now I am going to explain the answer. The first one is aim. By most half leaf experiment, we can prove the CO2 is essential for the photosynthesis. The next one is leads to apparatus. Apparatus I already given the apparatus. If any one of these apparatus not there, the the experiment we cannot conduct and we can't get result also so you must write all the apparatus the next one leads to procedure procedure in the procedure i already given you in the notes next procedure in that koh pellets or koh solution is very important to absorb the co2 in the bottle it is the main point the next one is leads to the observation in observation, the leaf outside the bottle is turns to blue black color. Why? Because it, the starch is prepared in the leaf. In the, inside the leaf, there is no uh, starch. There is no preparation of starch. So the blue black color is not there. This is the main observation we do find. The next one is all the factors: water, sunlight, and chlorophyll is also available to the plant but CO2 is not available in the bottle so the blue black color is not appeared on the part of leaf in the bottle the next one is result result is same as aim now moving on to second question different digestive enzymes and their role 
in digestion it is given in lesson 1 table 1 page number is also given here page number is 15 here the enzymes are given in a list you must read this first one is tyrant second pepsin third by fourth amylase fifth trypsin sixth lipase and seventh one is peptidase and eighth one is sucrase now i am going to show the answer you read the table and by heart it these enzymes in the digestive system they act on first one thiolin acts on carbohydrates next pepsin in the stomach it acts on proteins bile juice acts on fats next mls trypsin lipase acts on carbohydrates the next one peptidase and sucrase acts on amino acids glucose converts to glucose now then we move on to third question explain with neat label diagram of chloroplast chloroplast is already given in the page number 10 now i am going to show the diagram and the answer chloroplast is membrane structure consists of three membranes the third layer forms stacked sac like structures called granum the intermediary fluid filled colorless portion is called stroma it is responsible for enzymatic reaction leading to synthesis of glucose in plants substance found in chloroplast capture sunlight are called photosynthetic pigments chlorophyll pigment contain one atom of magnesium two major kinds of chlorophylls are associated with thylakoid membrane chlorophyll a is a blue green in color and chlorophyll b is yellow green in color around 250 to 400 pigments molecules are grouped as light harvesting complex units in granum some of the events occur in chloroplast are conversation of light energy to chemical energy splitting of water molecule reduction of carbon dioxide to carbohydrates the three main points of this third answer that one is first trap solar energy it is happened in granothylocoids granothylocoids they trap solar energy to convert the uh, chemical energy next second one is convert solar energy to chemical energy it is happened in the granothylocoids itself third one they help in the formation of glucose it is the three main points you write these three points in elaborated way you can get full marks to the question next fourth one fourth question is what are the harmful effects of global warming global warming causes so many harmful effects i will give you the answer now i will read the answer there are many harmful effects of global warming large volumes of methane under frozen tundras of northern latitudes is releasing into atmosphere as global warming causing the ice to melt increase in temperature of atmosphere results in coastal places flooded with melt waters the rainfall likely to be erratic and lead to greater imbalances causing droughts and floods global warming results in climate change which cause highly climate sensitive diseases like malaria dengue malnutrition and diarrhea diseases etc to reduce these effects we should channelize household waste into manure like vermicompost we should take up plantation of trees at schools our houses empty places in the village we should use public transports for more distances and cycle for every short distances we should initiate the use of eco friendly electronic and solar equipment the three main points of global warming the first one is coastal places 
flooded with melt waters. That means the northern areas, the ice melts and joins to the seas. The sea becomes bigger in size. The occupies coastal places flooded with melt waters. The second point is causes drought and floods. The global warming causes high temperatures. Thereby, it extends the summer and becomes droughts. The next, it leads to floods. The third point causes highly climate sensitive diseases. The global warming may cause the highly climate sensitive diseases like skin cancer. Next one, the fourth one is causing to melt. The global warming leads to melt the ice and thereby the floods increases, the drought increases and everything causes effects here on the earth. Thank you children for watching this video. Please share this video, like and subscribe this video. Thank you.